Why, hello there. Today we are doing another movie reaction, and we are doing Barbie. So, um, what do I say? <laughs> this is, uh, this is a movie, obviously, I have not seen. Um, I... The, in the whole, like, time of everyone doing, like, Barbieheimer, um, stuff, like, I... It's, it sucks, because I didn't go watch Barbie or Oppenheimer, um, and I was interested in both of them, but I didn't go watch them, uh, mostly because I wanted to do it for, for reaction videos on the channel, so, um, I'm kinda, like, behind on the times, but, uh, Barbie is now out, uh, for us to view digitally, so I'm glad to hear that. Um, I don't know that much going into this movie. I'm pretty good at staying like blind to the uh, to the films that I watch as best I can. Um, I'm wearing a pink shirt, just you know, maybe that helps sell the thing. Even though the pink shirt doesn't, it kind of it's a bit bright on <laughs> on camera, but you know, I'm going with it. I'm sticking with it. So um, hopefully, you know, you will appreciate that. Um, yeah, I don't know much about this movie. I don't know what the plot could really possibly be. I imagine this is. Like, I'm pretty sure this movie at least makes some comments on gender and stuff, which I'm very curious to see what uh, what comes of that and, like, sort of the writing approach that they take. Because I do enjoy seeing um, interesting and... Whether they be nuanced or not, just interesting takes on gender in films like this. So I'm really curious to see it. Um, but, uh, but I don't know what the actual, like... This movie is an hour 54. I I can't think of what you do for an hour 54 in a Barbie movie, but I'm sure I'll find out, and I'm I'm keen to find out. Um, and I, I, I kind of don't even know if it's gonna be like funny or if it's gonna like is it is it a comedy? <laughs> like I understand there's probably gonna be some serious moments or like you know really thoughtful things in it, but is is there gonna be a decent amount of humor or or is that not its vibe? I don't know. Um. I I didn't watch the trailers per se, but I they were kind of everywhere. So I I saw bits and pieces of the trailers everywhere. And I mean, some of them would have been because people like memed different parts of it and stuff. Um, some of it just seeing it on, I don't know, wherever I saw it. But, um, but I haven't watched closely. So I don't know too much of what to expect. Obviously, I know like Margot Robbie and... Uh, and Ryan Gosling. I'm pretty sure Michael Cera is in this film. I saw like an interview with him and I think he mentioned that he was in this movie. Um, I doubt he's in it for very long, but I'm kind of excited about that because I love Michael Cera. Um, but yeah, so I'm keen to jump into the movie. I don't know when Oppenheimer comes out digitally, but when that comes out, I'm, I'm almost certainly going to do a reaction to that as well. Um, so, because I'm very excited for that. I'm a huge Christopher Nolan. Oh my god, why can't I speak? A huge Christopher Nolan fan, so I'm I'm keen for that. But let's jump into some Barbie. Um, if you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Gent. I hope you will enjoy my reaction, you'll enjoy my vibe. If you do, make sure to support the video as much as you can. Liking, commenting, subscribing. I'm a very small channel, so every little bit counts. And uh, if you want to watch the full-length reaction, that is you take your own version of the movie, you sync it up with me, and we watch it together. That'll be in the Patreon account in the description below. It's definitely worth it. There's also early access for things, exclusive videos. There's hundreds of videos over there. Definitely a lot of content for you to check out. Anyway, let's jump into this movie, a movie that has been talked about quite a lot over the past few weeks, and I can't wait to understand why. This is Barbie. Here we go. What's with this drone? This like... <laughs> oh, it's gonna open on Barbie's dead body? This continued until... Until the Barbie doll. Oh my god! <laughs> you don't have to smash your own dolls. Okay. <laughs> Interesting start. Yes. She might have started out as just a lady in a bathing suit. They've all got that smile down. So much more. Car her own career. Because Barbie can be Wow, anything, that red-headed woman is was really good at the smile. 
all problems of feminism and equal rights have been <laughs> That's what the Barbiers think. After all, <laughs> they've solved the feminism. Just playing chess by the pool. Was she in bed with like heels on? Either way, that power looks so good on you. Oh, she doesn't even have to put it on. If that was really a mirror, you see a perfect smile. <laughs> It's just a circle. Oh, it's not a pool. <laughs> Will Ferrell is in this movie? That's awesome. Oh, actually, she doesn't even hold it up. Like, she doesn't even put it to her lips. She holds it, like, slightly away from it. Nobody bothers to walk them down the stairs and out the door, etc. And put them where you want them to go. It's true. So they're treating this like these Barbies are being played with by little girls, I guess. Or boys. <laughs> What's the road? Crashes and dies. Oh, the pink house. I work very hard, so I deserve it. <laughs> I like how they're all like, they all have an ego. But Ken only has a great day if Barbie looks at him. Oh no! <laughs> That's funny. Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Oh my god. <laughs> hi Barbie! Oh hi Alan! There are no multiple. Alan? Alan? He's just Alan. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused about that. <laughs> I hope that's not the only Michael Sarah Weezy in the movie. Ken! Well, if you're gonna run into it, yeah, I was gonna say. Oh my god! Oh. Michael Sarah's reaction! I would beat you off right now, Ken. I'll beat, beat you off with you any day, Ken. Hold my ice cream, Ken. Okay. <laughs> Anyone who wants to beat him up has to beat you. <laughs> no, you can't use beach off. Oh my god. I didn't think this movie would be making jokes like this. Nobody's gonna beach anyone off. Yeah, because actually my job. It's just beach. Beach! Good job you do. You should heal up in no time. Okay, bye. Goodbye. So far, really enjoying the dialogue. Damn! That... That Ken is, uh... Is in the Marvel show. Secret Invasion or whatever, right? I haven't seen him in anything else, I don't think. Whoa, you got sparkles! Oh my god! <laughs> I was about to say, you could cover it by like dyeing my hair, but that works too. Alright, so there's gonna be some tough subjects broached eventually, I feel like. A true feminist never leans in for a kiss. <laughs> you can go now. Oh my god. I thought I might stay over tonight. Oh, but I don't want you here. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is it Ken? Ken's just a really good friend, and this is house. It's Barbie's dream house. <laughs> they never like reference which Ken, but they just know. And it's girls. Aww. <laughs> I feel bad for him, but you can't hold back Barbie from being Barbie. Oh no! As soon as you put that thought in your head. Oh. Oh, this is less, uh, less fun. I like how it's the same song. He's gonna miss the plate. Oh, it's burned. Yeah, one missed the plate. Oh, it's expired milk. It said on the carton, expired. Yeah. Oh, so like it just says cow as well, not even milk. <laughs> it's like, my Cruzera is never in like shots with other people, it feels like. Oh my god. Is it like she's used to her feet are always in like the heel position, you know? My heels are on the ground. I'm no longer on the <laughs> It's okay. 
Oh my god! You know, you're gonna have to visit Weird Barbie. Weird Barbie? Have to visit Weird Barbie. Oh no. Classic. Oh my god, burned? Interesting that they referenced the real world, though. We all call her Weird Barbie both behind her back and also to her face. Why is she always in the splits? <laughs> so they're conscious of the fact that there's a real world and that they're being played with. Never wear heels if my feet were shaped this way. <laughs> That's a good point. What's cooking, good looking? Hi. You must be Welcome. Weird Barbie. Welcome to my weird house. Oh my god. Yeah. I've been a really fun game of volleyball. That's it? You thought about death? What is it? Look at your upper thigh. Ooh. What is that? That's cellular. Oh my That's god. And then you're gonna start getting sad and wishy and complicated. No! You're starting to become realistic. She must be sad and her thoughts okay. and humanness are interfering with your dullness. Why would she be sad? We fixed everything. Oh, so okay, I see. In the real world, and you gotta help her to help yourself. So, we're going to the real world. I didn't... I didn't know that would be part so of the movie. Will. So, but it makes sense. About the universe. The choice. <laughs> is this red pill, blue pill? The first one. The high heel. No. <laughs> she doesn't get the choice. Just don't blame me. Blame Mattel. They make the rules. <laughs> I've never seen a refusal of the call quite like this, but I like it. And what's weird will become weird. And then you look like me. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> I like weird Barbie. <laughs> okay, I imagine stereotypical Gen's gonna come. Yeah. Which way is that? You don't even know. I just don't want to Parent dolphin. I mean no, a bird. Pelican. <laughs> that was so disappointed. Okay. All right. I'm seeing what the movie's about now. She's going to see that Barbie has not solved all of feminism's problems. Did Ken stow away in the back? Yes, he did. Oh my god. Barbie, what if there's beach? You'll need someone who's <laughs> What if there's beach? So far, what if there's beach is my favorite line of the movie. It must be nice that they don't have to make a lot of this realistic because they're toys, you know? Oh, this is the real world. What's going on? Give us a smile, Blondie. Oh my god, are you getting being cat called? They're also staring at me. Conscious, but it's myself <laughs> conscious of but not ogle and there's no undertone of violence a construction site you need that fries with that oh no body would you hold it against me going to have a mirror in your pocket baby you on i can see myself in your shorts i don't know exactly what you meant with all of those little they they were rapid firing pickup lines we don't have genitals that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Well, fine. All... You've got the right shapes, at least. The Supreme Court. They're so smart. The Supreme Court. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I mean, that dude deserved it. Hey man, you guys gotta pay for that stuff. They don't know what money is. Oh shit. <laughs> They've been arrested twice. I love here. Ken. He's Where? great. Anywhere. Can I go that way? Yes. <laughs> the pacing of the dialogue is great. Don't go far. Okay. <laughs> he looks like he's gone far. I mean, he's like in the city now. Is Ted Ken gonna become like toxically masculine? throughout this movie well I mean yeah Ken Ken felt like disregarded in his world like l sort of lonely 
So I can see why he'd come into a male-dominated world and feel at home. Oh, oh my god. She, like, lived through the experiences there. Oh, they're having an argument. Oh. <laughs> Damn, this scene of just seeing people, just seeing the varied way the world is. You're so beautiful. Aww. I know it. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Mattel headquarters. Wow, they're actually properly incorporating Mattel into this. That's a cool shot. I love that. <laughs> I like how, how nerdy these guys look. <laughs> Tapping her on the head. The top brass. No. I must. No. I'm going to. I must. Cowering girls. Always. Oh. But what do we really say? Only men. An imagination. Will Ferrell's ahead of it. Oh no. A game of telephone happening now. No. no. Oh my God. <laughs> Think of it as a town in Sweden. Aaron Dinkins. Sweden. How much do you weigh? That's it. Doesn't Just think matter. of it as a town in Sweden. Until this doll is back in a box. Okay. So they're gonna like a literal life-size box. And then what? Ship her back, maybe? It's on trucks. Okay, just don't get in trouble. I won't. Ha ha! He's killing this role. So is she, to be fair. Barbie. Barbie yeah. pops in this. Look at her colors compared to all the black. Like a professional bimbo. No, Barbie's worth, and you are killing the planet with your glorification of rampant consumerism. This is the official Barbie movie, by the way. Nick, you yourself, Barbie. I hadn't thought about you in years, you fascist. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> it was really nice talking to you. Oh. Why men rule? You respect me. Sorry, do you know what time it is? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> is where men and horses run everything? Sure. I shall seek my fortune there. All right. So. She's gonna have a story to tell for ages. Influence, clearly not doing patriarchy very well. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're uh, we're doing it well. Yeah, we just. Uh, hide, it. hide it well, yeah. Of oh. course. Just one appendectomy. But, I'm <laughs> but not a doctor. Please. No. <laughs> you are talking. There he is. Doctor. Somebody get security. I'd like to apply for your okay. beach. So you want to be a lifeguard? <laughs> There's nobody in danger here. <laughs> and even if there were, I'm not trained to save them. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Remember when I asked if this movie was like a comedy, if it was going to be funny? It's fucking funny. That went terrible. Mm -hmm. I need to find somewhere. Oh my god, he came back that quickly. I keep getting arrested. <laughs> what do I do? Do I follow Barbie? Take your hat. Black truck car? She's fine. It's Mattel. Yeah. I know. I'll go back I like this woman who's way. trying to politely oh, play along. Okay. Back to Barbie Let's go that way. What a that that woman was a great actress. I believed I'm off early her reactions. Work, what, are you what? What, are you doing? what? What do you know, woman? You're not gonna be able to chase the cars. Thanks for the ride. This has been so much fun. Was it Sasha's mother, maybe? Yes, thank you. Having anything in it. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll go back to Barbie Land, and everything will be as it was. You know what? We should probably get Ken first. Will it fix it though, or will she just go back to Barbie Land and still have the problems? Ken. Could I just meet the woman in charge, your CEO? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, you oh, your CFO. Me. Company literally made of women. We had a woman CEO in the nineties. <laughs> there was another one. Some other time. <laughs> I 
I'm friends with so many women. I'm, I'm the nephew of a woman aunt. <laughs> Some of my best friends are Jewish. <laughs> I'm trying to say this. Is that guy Jewish? Is that why he gave Get that look? the box, you Jezebel. Oh, my God. What? I can't say Jezebel now. Didn't bring out the J word. In that box where my hair is perfect. Fine. Can you be speedy about it? Mm -hmm. Is she having some, like, existential like crisis moments? On the right. She really had to go to the bathroom. She did that for me! I love the way they're running. Over the cubicle. <laughs> it's quicker. <laughs> they're using Wolfell really well. Careful, don't pour it on your face, Barbie. Don't pour it on your face. There we go. She's trying. You're going to feel it going all the way down. That's going to be a strange feeling. I think you're just right. Hmm. <laughs> you're welcome, Barbie. Now, is Ruth someone very important, you know? Like the original inve inventor, creator of Barbies or something? She seemed important. <laughs> you you're gonna go over the cubicles, but you'll stop there. Wow. <laughs> oh, we didn't need it. I've been a little lonely lately, and I found those Barbies we used to play with. We gave those away. Oh. And making those were your memories. Gotcha. Yeah. All of them had her in them. Oh. I think I owe you ladies an apology. I thought that Barbie There's a car chase in this Barbie movie. World is but you inspired me. Oh. But everybody hates women. Women hate women and men hate women. It's the one thing we can all agree. It's <laughs> complicated. Hate is a strong word. Wake up, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, of course it was. <laughs> I'm surprised Barbie even knows the implication there. You look so pretty. Don't look at me. <laughs> She's such a kind mother. Bolygraphos. Oh, the Duolingo sound. <laughs> I do Duolingo every night, and that sound. Da -ding! Da -ding! I hear it so much. Everything that men do in your world, women do in ours. I mean, that sounds kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe Sasha's warming up to it. Maybe not this bit. Oh, maybe. She's got a small smile. Actually, I feel like that small smile was the actress. This could mean extremely weird things for our world. Like, what? Nothing any of our collective imaginations could ever create. podcast hosted by two... Wise trees, <laughs> choir of two thousand young fathers. <laughs> that guy looked so panicked while he was saying that. Oh my gosh, they're becoming more dude, dude broy. Oh no, Ken came back with <laughs> with uh, his masculinity. What? It's horses now? It's not even men, it's horses. That horses are just men extenders. Men extenders. Oh, I had that. I've never seen a car like that before. What? Oh no, the men took over. Everything. It's my dream house. It's mine. No, this is no longer Barbie's dream house. This shop oh my God. be known as Ken's Mojo Dojo Casa House. Ken's the yeah, villain. And <laughs> but she... Shame on you, executive number two. You think I spent my entire life in boardrooms because of a bottom line? No, oh. I did this business because of little girls and their dreams. Oh, wow. Creepy way possible. <laughs> now, he actually wants, like, a feminist icon, legitimately. Brewski, beer you. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> His laugh. <laughs> and Alan likes to help me give all the Ken's foot massages. No, I don't. I don't like that. <laughs> because Barbie Land is now Ken Land. And it's going to be just like Century City in Los Angeles. I like how all his line deliveries are different. Century City. No, you failed me! Oh my god. 
Because he felt neglected. I I somebody. She even asked me for the time. No <laughs> <laughs> Now he wears all these watches. Technicalities like this is my Mojo Dojo Casa House. It's not Barbie's Mojo Dojo Casa House. I guess me Casa isn't too Casa. Not fun, is it? God. God. Every night is boys' night. <laughs> Margot Robbie's good at crying. Like, I feel for her a lot when she cries. No, I didn't wish anything. I've never wanted anything to change. Oh, honey, that's life. Mm. It's all change. That's terrifying. Also, I, I mean, you were kind of on top, Not my life. Bobby. No, of course you didn't want anything to change. No. Just leave me, go back to your messed up world and just leave me to mine. So you're just going to give up? Yes. <laughs> okay. okay, kids, it's time to run out and get the new depression Barbie. She wears sweatpants all day. Oh long. my God. <laughs> oh, it's weird, Bobby. I'm like you now, ugly and unwanted. Oh my God. Thanks. Weird, Bobby's like not as weird right now though. Like she doesn't have markings on her face. Ah. <laughs> Oh, mother daughter bonding stuff will get to me. Oh my god! <laughs> What's his name? Alan. As soon as I figure out how to build that wall sideways and not just up, he's gonna be able to. I believe we better make a run for it. No, Alan, you can't go. The real world is what caused all these problems in the park. All of NSYNC, Alan. Oh yes, my god. I'm, uh, I'm Ken's buddy. Yeah, all his clothes fit me. Oh. Hell yeah. I was about to be like a Michael Sarah fight scene, but that's all of Scott Pilgrim. Kendom. Barbie Lynn needs saving. Barbie needs saving. Oh my god. You hate Barbie, but you don't. You've always believed in what she could be. Yeah, well, I was wrong. Aww. Barbie gave stupid drawings in the first place. They're not stupid, they're amazing. Oh. <laughs> You like my drawings? You want some more? Alan? I like that Sasha's like doing this for her for her mum. <laughs> I'll never get out of here. Aww. <laughs> We're fine. And Alan. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Hi. I'm Weird Barbie. I Michael Sarah is perfect for this. continued. I'm sugar daddy. I no, 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 no. I'm not a sugar daddy. Rob Brydon? And I'm her daddy. <gasps> Didn't think I'd see Rob Brydon in this. Oh my god. What's wrong? Oh. I'm not pretty anymore. Oh. Margot Robbie saying she's not pretty. Pretty. Note to the filmmakers Margot Robbie is the wrong person to cast. <laughs> I was just saying that. I'm not. You have to be thin, but not too thin. And you can never say you want to be thin. You have to say you want to be healthy. But mm. also, you have to be thin. Thin instead of you healthy, have to yeah. Have money. You have to be a boss, but you can't be mean. You have to lead, mm -hmm. but you can't squash other people's ideas. You're supposed to love being a mother, but don't talk about your kids all the damn time. You have to be a <laughs> That's true. Woman. But if you point that out, you're accused of complaining. Mm. You're supposed to stay pretty for men, but not so pretty that you tempt them too much or that you threaten other women <coughs> because you're supposed to be a part of the sisterhood. Uh -huh. You stand <laughs> out. You never fall down, never fail, never show fear. Mm -hmm, you never mm -hmm. get out of it. And nobody gives you a medal or says thank you. And it turns out, in fact, that not only are you doing everything wrong, but also everything is your fault. <laughs> it's true. I like how her voice cracked at the end of that as well. Of watching and of all of that is also true for a dollar. <laughs> Just representing a woman. 
I don't even know. I mean, yeah, honestly, Barbie dolls are held to higher standards as well. Like, blamed for a lot of problems. I did write a book in the Zack Snyder Cut of Justice League. Oh, I hate the Zack Snyder Cut of Justice League. But what you <laughs> said, by giving voice to the cognitive dissonance required to be a woman under the patriarchy, you robbed it of its power. Damn. Yes. Wow, I just said all of that. <laughs> Do you have a map of Barbie Land? What do you think? Wow. Damn, that's cool. Okay, Photoshop is so hard. I just don't understand. <laughs> Quick, everyone <laughs> rush in to explain it. Glare is highlighted. Go around. That's the third joke in this movie about like getting over things, but it's continuously funny. You can tell them that you've never seen The Godfather. And that you've oh my god. I've never seen it. <laughs> oh my god, you've never seen The Godfather. <laughs> this movie is a rich blend of Coppola's aesthetic genius and a trust. Can you start the movie over and just talk through the whole thing? <laughs> Check men's advances without dealing with their ego. Hey, who would talk through movies? That'd be ridiculous. No one ever liked me. Or distract them with the old standby. Wearing glasses so that they can discover that you're pretty. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Pull off her glasses. <laughs> I like how Alan's just there with them, like he's Tomorrow not counted as a Ken. Constitution. It still doesn't mean I want to hurt him. Hmm. He took your house. <laughs> your girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're red flags. <laughs> oh, hey. You've got me reading. <laughs> <laughs> Sublime? That's what you're gonna shout? Really? I'll play the guitar at you. Oh, yay! I'll play the guitar at you. Accurate. I'm pretty sure these are all very basic guitar chords. I think it's a C, G, D or something. Well, I will. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are they doing? <laughs> Who are you texting? <laughs> Who are you texting? No one. Oh no. Beautiful song that you're playing. Did Wait. You it? Is each Barbie gonna go to a different Ken? You play on their egos and their petty jealousy. Oh my god. Just go in a circle. <laughs> and they won't be able to focus on the one they're trying to impress now. On the battlefield, and you say Ken at four o'clock. How will I know if you mean us Kens or the other Kens? Because, my <laughs> dudes, we attack at ten o'clock and take advantage of the morning wave. This movie's kind of a musical. <laughs> There's a lot of songs in this movie. All my life been so polite, but Why are they dressed like that? <laughs> Is this actually Ryan Gosling's voice? Sounds very refined. I don't know how good of a singer Ryan Gosling is. Oh, looks like the Barbies plan worked. No matter who wins, the Barbies win. This is the strangest war scene I've seen in a long time. Ah, now the executives are here. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay, I kind of like this. <laughs> I kind of really like this. I like this better than the war. This is... <laughs> I really like this. This is really cool. What will it take for her to see <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. Did, did they do it? What's this look? Bobby had a look there. That's because their dream houses, mother. <laughs> reinstated the Barbie Land Constitution to what it should be. Kids. Okay. Who are we attacking, sir? Ah! <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> <kill me! laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> Helen. Yeah, totally. It's okay if you're crying. Yeah, it's okay to cry. Too, it's actually kind of amazing. God, he's a good actor. These fridges are so small. You can only fit a six pack in them. Amazing. When I found out the patriarchy wasn't about horses, I lost interest. Oh, that's great. He's got the horses in the background. I'm really sorry I took you for granted. Oh. Not every night had to be girls' night. That's that's honestly the one thing that I was hoping from Barbie. Oh, I but didn't mean to she's not uh, interested still. <laughs> I just don't know who I am without you. <laughs> I only exist within the warmth of your gaze. That's very sad. Without it. Oh no. Maybe it's time to discover who Ken is. No, 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 no. Isn't the answer. <laughs> oh my god. I love his like grand movements that he's doing. You have to figure out who you are without me. Mm. That's true. Ken is me yes ken he's getting it is we were only fighting because we didn't know who we were the ken's breakthroughs is so much simpler than barbie's <laughs> breakthroughs ken is right so i forgot bad. about the executives you know, do you know how many times i've wanted to stand up in a board meeting and and just say can we just tickle each other <laughs> Let's have exactly the way it was. Mr. Mattel, I Please, just... call me mother. <laughs> I'm owning it. Would you like a job in my cabinet? Aw. Please have sanitation. Yeah, th uh, thank you. All right. <laughs> oh. The Kens will have as much power and influence in Barbie land as women have in the real world. Yeah, we'll work up to it. Okay, what about ordinary Barbie? <laughs> She's not extraordinary. She just has a flattering top, and she wants to get <laughs> feeling kind of good about herself. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> it's going to make money. Oh, uh, Ordinary Barbie, I love it. Fantastic. <laughs> what do you want? I don't know. I'm sure where I belong anymore. Yeah, I don't know what, what she should get. I don't think I have an ending. I created you so you wouldn't have an ending. Oh. You're Ruth from Mattel. Baby, I am Mattel. <laughs> it's Ruth Handler. Ruth Handler. Of Barbie. Thought so. That's my five foot nothing grandma with a double mastectomy and tax evasion. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? Such a weird wave. Maybe you're self effacing, Barbie? <laughs> Ideas live forever. Humans, not so much. Is she gonna you just be that? human? I do. Being a human can be pretty uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. But she's still ready for it. I want to do reimagining. I don't want to be the idea. Does that make sense? <laughs> I always knew that Barbie would surprise me, but I never expected this. Do you give me permission to become human? Aww. You don't need my permission. I named you after her, Barbara. Really? I always Is that true? You, like I hoped for her. Aww. So being human's not something I need to ask for or even want. I can just something that I just discover I am. God, Take remember when I said Margot Robbie's good at crying? She's good at crying. Because she doesn't overdo it a lot of the time, now, you know? Close your eyes. I used to go. Now I Whoa. Fall. It's an interesting way to show feeling, having her lips and they're like... They like slowly come apart, you know? I feel like that that showed what feeling feels like pretty well, actually. <laughs> this is really cute. I wonder if this is like actual home footage and stuff. 
It seems very genuine. I'm really proud of you. Estoy muy orgulloso. <laughs> oh, she's wearing um whatever they call the type of sandals or whatever that represented real life. I'm here to see my gynecologist. <laughs> That's what it is to be just just be a real person. Look, I'm not gonna say that like this movie was way better than I was expecting because I was expecting it to be great. Because like people have been talking about this movie. I knew that it was being competently made. Like I went into this with with pretty high expectations, honestly, but I will confidently say that, that, that it was those expectations were met. It was really good. What I was surprised at was how funny this movie was. I did not realize how many jokes I would be laughing at in this movie. I did not realize this would be the kind of movie that I actually want to rewatch because like I think this would be a fun movie to rewatch and it would it would be very entertaining. I'm I'm not a huge movie guy. If you check this channel, I mean, I do so many TV shows and stuff, and I love TV shows, and I rewatch TV shows all the time. Anime mostly, but also other, like, you know, non anime TV shows. But when it comes to movies, I don't love to watch movies. Um, you know, if I could choose between sitting down and watching a movie or watching TV, I'm gonna sit down and watch TV. So, um, so when it comes to movies, I don't. Like, when I finish a movie, I don't often think about, okay, well, I'm going to rewatch that, you know? But this movie, I can I can totally see myself rewatching it. Um, now, I'm talking about the humor first, just because um, it's an easy thing to talk about in a movie with um, some, like, some topics that are going to be tough to talk about. And uh, I probably won't talk too much about them, and I'll give my reasonings later. But, um... But I I really loved the <laughs> I wrote down the what if there's beach joke because that was really funny. But what was the other thing? Oh yeah, the the whole scene where Margot Robbie is lying on the ground and she's like, I'm so like I'm not I'm not pretty, I'm not perfect, I'm I'm like I look terrible or whatever. And I mean obviously there's a few layers to this, but but I really loved the like interjection by the narrator that's like Here's a note, don't cast Margot Robbie for this role because it was exactly what I was saying at the time where I was like, isn't Margot Robbie saying that she's not pretty? Like, out of all the people. But also, that it works for the scene. It's a, it's a good comment on it because the idea is that, like, she is still living up to beauty standards, but she still even thinks that it's not enough. You know, like, no, it's... Like, women are held to such high standards that they have these high standards for themselves and they feel like they never live up to them no matter what. So even someone like Margot Robbie would uh, would be looking at herself and saying that, that she looks terrible or that she's not perfect still. Um, but I just think the narrator thing, that was like absolutely hilarious. I really loved that. Uh, all of Will Ferrell's stuff um, was great, like really funny. Um, and, uh, and like the... Uh, just Ken, I mean, Ken, uh, I don't think we have a name for the, um, main Ken. What the hell is his actor's name? Ryan Gosling's Ken? I don't, I don't, I think he's just Ken, but, um, but he, his line delivery for so much of the movie was just so great. And I love that he changed between different ways of delivering lines based on how, like, masculine he was, you know? Um, anyway. So the thing with the themes of the movie is I like a lot of the time when I sit down to watch movies and TV shows, my discussion section, um, I try to delve into the themes and I give like my opinions on certain things that are happening in the movie and stuff. I almost feel like this is a movie that is really like uh, testing me because it feels like I should not be the person to comment on this film, you know? Like, I... Any sort of major, um... Uh... Depth that I dive into, I would feel... Bad, because I would feel like it's not... Like, I, I, I don't want to step on any landmines, and I don't want to presume 
that other people don't know the things that I'm saying, you know? Like, this movie is a lot about, like, the experience of being a woman. I'm not a woman. <laughs> so even though I can say that I have, like, somewhat experienced it by, like, you know, having uh, a sister and a mother and, you know, ha being in a relationship in the past and, like, seeing the things that she went through and um, having a lot of close female relationships, um, like, really close female friends and stuff and seeing the shit that they've gone through. Even with all of that, I still, I still don't know. And so it's not really fair of me to give uh, my in-depth stuff other than just like a, a, a general support, <laughs> a healthy, uh, a healthy blanket of support over the entire movie and just being like, yeah, <laughs> I agree and I get it. And I can't really go that much further than that, but I can applaud it because i think they did a, a great job and i think the, the like there was a lot of you know gender-based jokes in this but because the movie was such a gender statement because of that the gender jokes felt like you know playful if you know what i mean like because we we knew there was a harsh division between the parts that were seriously making comments on gender and the parts that were poking fun at gender because there was like a you could feel the division there the parts that were poking fun at gender didn't feel mean-spirited at all i don't think like the the bits where it's just like the you know the men being like oh uh all you gotta do is you gotta be bad at photoshop in front of them or ask about the godfather or you know like do all of this stuff like it it felt it felt very light-hearted all of those jokes because the whole movie is about gender so like it feels like you gotta have that stuff in there you know um and the one thing that i i did think like towards the start of the movie is that like obviously ken's character the main ken his character was very re resolve re revolved around um essentially being in a position where he feels neglected and alone because he uh only cares about barbie and his life revolves around barbie and it works on the meta lens of like this is how they sold the, the ken toys is like the ken toy is the companion toy to barbie you would never you'd never say like oh i have a ken toy when you don't have a Barbie toy, really? Like, you know, it's it, it wasn't really a thing. It's like, the, it's considered a companion toy. So it works on that lens, but then it also works like in the world of the story. And if you're doing a thematic comparison to, um, to people, not even just men, but people in general who are so uh, reliant on their relationship, you know, it's such a massive part of themselves. And I mean, I get it, you know, like there, there's, uh, when I was in a relationship for several years, there, I, like, it didn't get too bad, but there was definitely, like, the, y you get this feeling sometimes, I think, when you're in a relationship that a big part of yourself is your relationship. And it's, it's a feeling that you can be aware of and it's still gonna be there. Like, you can't, a lot of the time, it's difficult to do anything about it. And... The thing is, a lot of the time you can also feel like, well, it's not hurting anyone because if, but like, because I, I expect I'm going to be with this person forever, you know? Um, or even if you don't, it's like, well, right now, you know, it's making me feel happy. And it's a tough situation, but a lot of the time, you know, because of that, some people may be viewing the entire world through the lens of me and my partner instead of just, here's the things that I do and I like and I am, and then here's the things that he or she or they like and am and and uh, and do. And then sometimes we come together and do some stuff together, you know? Um, a lot of the time it's like, it people consider being together as like the norm and everything that you do on your own like, well, there, some people just don't do stuff on their own. They only do stuff with their partners. And it's tough. It's tough. But I liked I, I liked the way they uh, approached it. It's always a little sad because I, I saw it from the start of the movie. I saw where they were going with it just because I knew that, that like, if it's going to be a, like, a 
pretty strong feminist movie. The guy getting her in the end probably isn't going to be a great uh, ending, you know? Um, so I, I saw that whole thing coming. Of course, it doesn't mean that an independent woman cannot be in a relationship, you know? Like, it, it's just about knowing yourself and knowing what you need and what you want and uh and that being the decision maker you know and then it's like if there's room in my life for a partner then sure come on down join me you know um but that's like the number one thing um but obviously i think i think the highlight of the of the movie in terms of themes and what people are going to take away from it most is like the monologue that um what's the actress's name america something <laughs> um her her character's name is gloria the act the uh monologue that gloria did that was just like going over many 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 of the hardships of being a woman and it's like i've i've heard many different um many different women basically give their own version of that monologue like whether it be in my life or throughout um you know media maybe female comedians would be doing it or um or uh i don't know where else i see women <laughs> i i only watch comedy stuff so who knows um no but you know either uh public public figures or comedians that's really the two places that I would see um, people give a monologue like that or people in my life because I've heard it a lot from women in my life and um, and I mean doesn't make it any less true and I think it's good to have that sort of thing in a movie like this and have it be such a like it feels like that is the the turning point of the movie you know like that is the that is the equivalent of them coming up with the I don't know, the time machine schematics, you know, like that is, that is the problem solver is being able to verbalize that and hopefully get through to it. I, I think it's interesting that they had to get through to other women in that scene, you know, like the, it wasn't about convincing the Kens. Doesn't matter what the Kens do or think, you know, it was about convincing the other women that they don't need to feel that way and that they are putting like their stock in the wrong places because of the expectations that have been put on them and then once they were all banded together they were able to you know get stuff done because there is sort of like a divide uh in there where it's difficult because we have these expectations within society within our world and the expectations being put on women are sometimes being put on women by other women, but that's because of the expectations that have been put on those women, you know? Like, it, it's it, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's a snake eating its own tail. It just doesn't end. There are no solutions that I've got. I'm not going to give any solutions. And I told you, it's not really my place to say anyway. But I just think it's interesting. They did a good job. Everything was, was really good in this movie. Michael Sarah was great. <laughs> I love. I'm a huge Michael Sarah fan, so I was very happy that he got a decent amount in this movie. But um, yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. I was very satisfied with this movie, and it was funny as hell. I kind of felt bad for like for uh, talking about its humor first and foremost, because obviously the statement that the movie made is probably much more important on a on a grander scale but in terms of just enjoyment of a film the statement wouldn't have been enough for me it just like watching the film i don't think but the humor uh definitely keeps me interested enough to get to the statement you know so they did a great job with everything that's barbie that is barbie so thank you so much for joining me here i'm not the most articulate person to be able to tell you interesting things about this movie doesn't matter i still had to talk it's my channel you know 
<laughs> so like that's what I have to come to terms with. Sometimes I say, oh, oh I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to give my opinions on it, but it's my channel. That's why people are here. So uh, those are my opinions on it. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, please make sure to support the channel if you can. Uh, any support counts, liking, commenting, subscribing, it all adds up and I'm a small channel so every little bit counts. And uh, my Patreon account's in the description below if you want to get full length, early access, exclusive videos, a VIP tier to request a reaction. There's a lot of stuff over there, it's definitely worth it. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you next time, goodbye.